Resolve 14, scene letterboxing, take one, marker. All right, today I'm gonna to show you how to do a letterboxing in DaVinci Resolve 14, or as Resolve would call it, output blanking, which I found, you know, I always call letterboxing back in the day. I had to get used to that new terminology, but if you're wondering how, where the option is, it's because it's called output blanking. And I'm gonna show you really briefly and quickly, it's pretty, it's gonna be a short one, but uh, how to, how to do that. So here we go, I am in the timeline, and basically all you gotta do is go up to timeline, output blanking, and you have all these uh, preset aspect ratios. So the default for what I'm using is 177. Um, and then you have, you know, your very obvious 185, 235, 239, 24. Um, and then, you know, if you want to get real cheeky, 133. But uh, I'm going to just do 24. So basically this is going to help you get that cinematic look, like the stereotype, stereotypical cinematic look, right? Let's go to clip up here. So then what I do, because you know, you're cropping your image. We're going to keyframe, which I'm gonna do a full keyframe tutorial later, but to give the quick deep dive, you can hit that keyframe button. And to really set a keyframe, even after you hit the keyframe button, you need to uh, just do a little wiggle right there. And part of what I love about output blinking is because you have that extra information, you can really be precise on uh, your framing after the fact and almost to a perfect degree that you couldn't actually get in camera sometimes. Um, so I can lower this here, set my framing, I like that. Um, uh, okay, actually you don't set this to the corrector. So another thing about sizing, it is not attached to a node, it is its own thing right here. So hit a keyframe there, do a little tilt. Awesome. We'll go to the bright before the camera starts to, or needs to drop. So here maybe, set a keyframe. I kind of like that frame, but uh, we'll follow our guy down a bit. And then from there, this other guy pops up. So then we want to come back up with him. have a keyframe here before Black Panther here jumps up in the air. So another keyframe, we're up with him. And as he comes down, well, we're good there. So if you watch that now, we can really, because we have the extra information, um, not only does it look more cinematic, but you have that extra level of control with your framing. So let's watch that. In slow motion goes down comes up rises up as he walks up the stairs goes up higher as black panther jumps in the air pretty cool it looks like you did that in camera like wow you really timed that right actuality it was all in post in the finish and uh so let's talk about also um say you needed different uh a different aspect ratio that's not the default. You can do that when you go into the, you know, the sizing panel and then you go from input sizing to output and the blanking becomes ungrayed out and you can just dial it into whatever you need. Um, it is hard to kind of make sure they're even, but uh, if you want to like, oh, this crazy cinema scope over here, yeah. Or just whatever you needed, whatever you needed it for. And another thing to keep in mind is, is it is an output uh, sizing, so it is going to apply to your entire timeline and not just that clip. So something to keep in mind. Yeah, it's very cool, super handy, um, and super cinematic. So hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Got more coming. Till then, thanks for watching.